On this edition of the Droids, we talk the Obi-Wan series and only the Obi-Wan series. We've been waiting for this for decades. Chris can barely contain himself. Let's just start the episode. This is the Droids. Welcome back to the Droids You're Looking For, a Star Wars podcast. As you can tell, we cannot wait to begin this episode. (laughs) Chris is chomping at the bit to talk about Obi-Wan. It is all official. This is our third podcast of the week following D23. Go back and listen to the Rise of Skywalker teaser trailer. Listen to our Mandalorian episode and enjoy this one as well. Check them all out. We've got you covered on all the big news from this past week. With this kind of coverage, you'd think we were there. (laughs) One day we will be. One day special invite. We get the invite. invite. (laughs) <laughs> and there's a podcast stage at D23, right? At don't they one day we, we'll be don't bringing they know out we Ewan speak McGregor. really highly of all the new films? Doesn't Disney know? Why don't we get invited? Well, here's my dream. <laughs> Instead of D23, you know what the D stands for? The Droid Heads. <laughs> Ooh. We start our yeah. own competing D23? So wait, so yeah. That, that'll get instead em. of D23? <laughs> well, I mean, we'll just be... I haven't thought it out quite yet. <laughs> well, we'd be like the, D4, the D4s, the Droid Head 4. That's what they call us at our favorite Italian restaurant. <laughs> and that's our live show. That's what we call and all And you can our listen to shows. all of that on the Lady and the Tramp cast uh, coming up. <laughs> I Chris, didn't was realize. there any exciting thing that happened this weekend for you regarding this character? Pokemon I think Canada? I've been mentioning it for the last six years, but I, uh, the rumor is now, and it's just a rumor, that <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor will return as Obi-Wan Kenobi in a miniseries. That will be on Disney Plus. Ooh, can you believe you're saying those words, Chris? Guys, not only I I was happy, content with the idea of an hour and a half, two hour, two and a half hour, maybe three hour movie, and now we're getting a mini series, which I can presume will be six to eight episodes. This is this is far better than I could have possibly imagined. It's exciting. Well, <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> no, well, I mean. Uh, how about the way he how about the way how about the way he announced it? I mean, yeah. this guy he's been you and McGregor has been asked. I mean, you you've been talking about it for 6 years. He's probably been talking <laughs> about it since when, wait, when did it was oh, what 06 oh, oh, or 05 oh, that Sith came out? I think it was 05. Oh, it was 05. Yeah. So, so, so I'm going to say okay, so that's 14 yeah. years ago. I'm going to say for 12 years. Yeah. He's been answering this question well, on the Yeah, red exactly. Carpet. And I mean, he's probably <laughs> he's probably sat through a little bit of the backlash. I think that the the unwanted backlash, right, Ryan? I think that That's he right. he probably at one point it, they were financing these the the prequels were financing his motorcycle trips, so I'm sure they were very good in that <laughs> respect. I think that he probably was distancing himself a little bit from Star Wars for better or for worse. I mean, I'm sure he loved it. He has family members that were in the originals. I, I think there was just that that weird lull in Star Wars when they didn't quite know what to do with the franchise. I wonder if Lucas ever approached him to play around with the idea of like a, a standalone film at that time. I felt like Lucas I mean, was pretty out at the end of Revenge yeah. of the Sith. Hey, but Chris has said it. Maybe it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it happened. But I'm just wondering how, how long... Can't, so- can't put that toothpaste back in the tube. <laughs> Turns out Lucas asked him in 2007 <laughs> in a secret meeting to be in an Obi-Wan movie, and he said mm. no. He never would. And he now would never here. do it. Not in 40 years. Um, well, Lucas also are, said there would never be another Star Wars film. Um, but after that, I think around 2000, what was it, 12 or 13? When did the acquisition happen? 2000, I believe it was 2013. 2013. 2013. So this is when the rumbling started. They they kind of laid out a bunch of possibilities during those shareholder meetings. They were kind of like, we could conceivably make a which movie. Chris and I, which Chris and I live streamed into our living room, <laughs> yeah, audio was, only, and just we had to like call like a WebEx. We had to like call a WebEx, and everyone was giddy with excitement. Um, I always pop- thought that it was weird that you guys did that during a double date. But <laughs> yeah, it was strange. Well, you know what? The hardest part though was eating that piece of spaghetti. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we we uh, 
<laughs> we listened to that and they were they were like giddy with excitement there's like oh there could be possibly a star wars movie every year for the next infinity and with that came out these ideas out of a lot of these meetings there was a proposed uh, uh obviously the han solo movie came out of that there was always this rumor that there was a, a boba fett versus obi-wan in the desert which could still be a possibility with this mando series taking place when it does uh, we could talk more about that. Do you mean after Obi Wan's death? Resistance? Do you mean after uh, his death in Star Wars? Oh, I th- I thought I thought Mando took place between Empire and uh... Nope. Oh yeah, you're right. Anyhow, uh... it's not the Age of Rebellion. It's <laughs> the guess. Age of Resistance. And even yeah, if it I took guess, place during Empire, Obi Wan okay, was still dead. There you go. That's why I got three other droidy boys on the line to <laughs> make sure I'm Listen, saying the right ex- facts. He's really excited. He's not thinking straight. I can't think straight. I just want him in everything. Um... <laughs> Anyhow, we follow the timeline. There was rumors of a movie that was directed by uh, some of the Breaking Bad team, which have like experience in the desert. Who knows about that? Um, then there was the uh, uh, the rumor that it was a film that was directed by Stephen Daltrey, who's behind Billy Elliot and The Hours, um, but that never came to fruition. Who's involved in this miniseries? I don't know. Do we know? No, they've said, though, that the episodes have been written, which means there are wow. people who are all very heavily in. Okay. There must be a while. showrunner. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, the, yeah. The announcement is that it, they're, they're all written and that it, it'll shoot next year. Wow. So, I mean, I would I mean, they're certainly going to release it by 2021. But I, I, I would bet if they shoot it early, they might. Do, you, do we think they can release this in 2020? No, I think with uh, Cassie and Andor series being yeah, coming out in twenty twenty, yeah. so they're going like, to hold. I mean, they said next series, year. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't specify next That's school year, next fiscal year, or next <laughs> calendar year. Right. But Plus, since Disney's we don't have the info, we'll year. assume it's the calendar year. Well, I I, th- I can appreciate the fact that let let's let Disney Plus Lucasfilm develop a couple series, get the gears running in the machine, and then hopefully by Obi Wan they'll be fine tuned to how to make these. Um, and and. I imagine it might set up a little bit of this kind of like Disney Plus Star Wars TV universe. I I, I wonder how much of aesthetic is going to carry over across the three proposed series. Like, I wonder if it's going to be kind of the same type of storytelling language or if they're each going to be a unique vision. Yeah. That'll be interesting to see for sure. Um, But, I mean, if you look at the the franchise as a whole, they, you know, there's definitely – there's definitely an attempt to maintain a visual language. So, and it, and based on the Mandalorian trailer, which um, in our you know in our previous short short episode where we ran through that, it it definitely feels like they're trying to. It, it looks and feels like Star Wars, like right. the movies. So, mm-hmm. my guess would be my guess would be that it's that. My guess is that yeah. these things are all gonna look and feel kind of the same, and that it'll almost. It potentially have the feeling of like an anthology series, mm-hmm. you know, with like a new cast and time frame each each season. Um, but that's that's actually a question I have. I wanted to actually throw out to the group: do do we think any of these things are? Do we think they're all open ended for for multiple seasons? Do we think there could be a Mandalorian season two or an Obi Wan mm-hmm. well, Kenobi season two? Oh, they've already con- they've confirmed Mandalorian season two. John Favreau's already writing it. Uh, that's so you're saying so, okay. so you're saying so you're saying yes, it's yes. possible. Yes. I, okay. I actually, well, I then think... that's a we'll we'll chalk that up to a possibility. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Most of these series would be meant to continue onward. I think the Obi Wan is maybe the question one. Is that it's kind of like a, yeah? Because because even mini series event. Diego Luna, you know, you get the sense that he he has a lot going on for him, but he could just come back and be like, yeah, I can do six to eight episodes, you know, right. for two or three months out of the year and do that once every year and a half or whatever it ends up being. Uh, with Ewan McGregor, it just seems a little less likely. And is there enough story to keep an Obi-Wan series going? I think there would be. And people people may you know, scoff at that because they're saying, well, he's in the desert. What else could you do? <laughs> I, I think there's a lot that actually could be there. And yeah, I would I mean- love if it would keep going. I, I think this also brings back another character, the planet of Tatooine. And I think there's a lot of stories there. <laughs> Boy. Oh, there's a lot brother. of stories there that, that Obi-Wan can investigate. I mean, he's on the desert alone watching over a young Luke and Leia. So we'll we'll get a young Luke. We'll get a young Leia. Uh, we'll get some Loan, Owen. We'll get some Lars. You're talking um, about an eight-year-old Luke Skywalker, by the way. Yeah. Why yeah. would, why would so Leia they, be there, though? Yeah, Leia's not there. No, I mean, we could cut to her. Like, I, I think they might have that time period. I, that is Hand my hope. Down. Is that Leia. Is that, and also, Leia is, works for, like, a, a 
the the is it the Senate, the Republic? They not when well, she's been probably, dissolved. That's been dissolved at this point. They're probably though the Senate that is probably going from planet <laughs> to planet. Um, so there is a chance that what if they do an episode where Luke and Leia meet before they even realize it? There might be a <laughs> lot of complicated aspects of that. And they share they share a plate of spaghetti. Um, but <laughs> wait, before we go too much further in this conversation, yeah. Sam, you reference and Chris, if I'm cutting you off from a larger point, please keep going. No, get in, get in. All right. You mentioned the introduction of you and McGregor on stage. I think we need to listen to that moment with Kathleen Kennedy. So, before leaving, we do have one more announcement. After secrets and fibs and not being able to talk about it, I am thrilled to bring out a beloved member of the Star Wars family. Music swells. Kathleen, Kathleen, can you ask me in front of all of these people, all of these witnesses, can you please ask me, am I going to play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? Ewan? Yes? Are you going to play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? Yes. After listening to that, and Sam, you texted this in the thread to everybody. <laughs> How did he not say hello there? <laughs> why did that not be the? Why was that not the first thing he said when he came out yeah. on stage? I want to be clear. I want to be clear. I texted that when so so the in way confidence. this all broke was in first, confidence. First, we had. <laughs> I texted that to you. I texted that to you guys. That was private. No, oh, I I want to be clear though because the robe. I texted that. <laughs> I texted that whenever it was just like breaking on Twitter, like the announcement, like people were acknowledging it's happening. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, he must have walked out and said hello there to the fans. Mm. I, having seen the announcement, I don't miss it at all. <laughs> I also I mean, this just, is, I don't, this is the I don't know if way. he knows Star Wars as much as we do. You know, he might not know that line. <laughs> I mean, also, this, is, this is like the coolest entrance and announcement. You can see that he's thrilled uh and excited yeah. to to be making this announcement and to be doing it um it's definitely been a long road there and i mean what like can we look at the guy he yeah. looks I, he's better looking now <laughs> than he's ever been and he's always been yeah. one of the best looking handsomest men <laughs> on sam. planet earth well sam it's pretty yeah. it's what? insane <laughs> I've spent so much time thinking about this. I don't know what he's doing. Whatever it is, I want some. Him and Paul I got a, Rudd I got together. a phone. I got a oh phone full of screenshots. I can send you, you guys. Just, you just I've been looking at his of face a, of a nonstop. Journal entry I have Mike. You need all you need is a motorcycle <laughs> and a billion dollars. Um, I think it. You, you bring up his look. It is perfect timing on their part, depending on... I mean, obviously, we don't know when this series takes place. If they decide to do it immediately we do after... Know. We do know when it <laughs> takes place. If they decide to do it immediately after the two, uh, Revenge of the Sith, that it, it's like a little odd. They have to like de-age him and like <laughs> they go through all this work. Um, they're well, given it has a been no, it, confirmed it takes, online that it's eight yeah, years it, after. Well, like, it, how many years? Eight. Eight. It, perfect. What's interesting though is it also I'm sorry I'm I'm excited to jump the the it takes place in between the two parts of the solo film like it takes place between young and like adult solo. So that's to me is the perfect time period because that's why my side theory is that we'll get some solo cameos in there. Yes. As Obi Wan is kind of scheming, wheeling and dealing, trying to figure out how to get off the planet and get Luke safe. As he sees the the kind of the empire is invading Tatooine, we're gonna see them meeting the arrangement between Obi Wan and Han Solo before they go to the cantina. I'm I'm thinking we could definitely get Alden. I'm wondering if we would get Donald Glover in this series. Yep. You know, yeah. um, 
This could be the first of, of three very big announcements, especially what if they made it? I would be happy if they made a solo slash Obi-Wan series. It's basically just filling in the gaps. We realize we see we see his deal with the huts. We see we see that that kind of uh, uh, that heist go awry. And then we kind of get obi One story during that time period I'm, as well. I'm all for that solo story. I want to see that. But I think mm-hmm. that the Obi-Wan one is going to be a what Standalone. kind of secluded secluded he's sure. gonna be mostly on his own and he'll be working with new characters maybe there'd be minor crossovers mm-hmm. but i think there's a nature to it is like we know that he's a hermit we know that he's yeah. off distancing himself there might be some ways for this to like reflect on his own failings his sure. failings with anakin and there could be some times where oh, yeah. this series might be more dramatic than any other series we've seen from star wars that is true those or just yeah. do, they well, should call it ben that should be oh. the name of the series, <laughs> Ben. Or it's Old just him ben. and it's or it's just him and Watto hanging out. <laughs> oh man, this meet? opens up the you possibility. You think him and Watto made up? You think? I don't know. Did Did he ever meet Watto? <laughs> no, he was on the ship the whole time. I don't he, think he, he ever. Never, met he never left the ship. Never so really was they, no, I think wasn't Obi Wan at the pod race though. Yeah. No. So they were all. He was the, on the ship. Really? That yeah. Time? Ob- Obi-Wan yeah. was not at the pod race. Maybe the whole Obi- series is going to be what he was doing on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Obi-Wan, you want to go to the pod race? No. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice day. I'm, no, I don't want to go. <laughs> but Obi-Wan, Anakin, little Anakin, the balance of the force is going to brace. You like the Anakin. You, you're, you're into Anakin more than you're into me. No, I don't want to go. I want to sit on the ship. <laughs> go with your special Anakin. <laughs> Put so guys, down. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking Sam, stuff. Sam, just no. let this go. Don't, don't end it. Just go. I have, I have a, a question from <laughs> Sam. My, unless uh, it's adding to this bit, <laughs> keep it to yourself. <laughs> my, my coworker Matt posed a question to me uh, yesterday at the office, and I didn't, I didn't know what my answer was. So I'm going to pose it to the pod, <laughs> and we're going to solve it right now, and we're going to give the it. definitive answer. It's a would you rather. Would you rather see Obi-Wan in this series? Mm. Are you more excited for Obi-Wan to encounter Darth Maul or to encounter Darth Vader? Oh. If it Darth happens. Vader. Well, we've seen Darth Maul. I would say before we do this, Rebels has done the Darth Maul, and I don't think I they're going to bring... I suppose we've also seen Darth Vader, but you yeah. know what I mean. But I don't I don't think we're going to see um, Maul and Obi-Wan in the series because of the fact that they had such an incredible moment where Maul was finally, officially, actually killed in yeah. Rebels. I think it would do a, a disservice to, to uh, Rebels if they did that. Um, I think getting a, another Vader run, or if it is some kind of maybe force force wielding run or like vision kind of thing like it doesn't necessarily have to be a live action battle i i don't get the sense from a new hope that that vader and obi-wan have seen each other in a long time like that to me feels like their definitive first meeting but it is but, kept open because he says a, a presence i haven't felt since yeah. and then he walks away <laughs> so yeah. maybe they'll oh, yeah. retcon it to where he's like since season two episode three <laughs> exactly. of it's when they both accidentally like he walks out of the bathroom but then they both miss each other slightly <laughs> it's like serendipity the movie yeah, exa- exactly <laughs> um he's got a glove it's a darth vader glove is that is that's that right. what you're going for that's, that's right darth point. vader's I... dating a dude who plays like weird clarinet music <laughs> <Yeah>. is this <laughs> too specific they don't belong this together ser- this is for all my serendipity heads out there um i think I, I, hey, I would snowy. go with Vader. I'd go with Vader, uh, like, absolutely. They kind of did that a little bit with the Ahsoka storyline as well. Like, having them kind of meet up again and just the tragedy of how Vader doesn't really recognize, like, anyone anymore and how he's kind of more – he's more machine than man now. Um, I think that that would be interesting. Um, that's a hard question, though. That's a great question. I don't know. I was. I. I think my. So, uh, and this is this is me not being caught up on 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 rebels. But I mean, my my initial thought was was Maul. You know, I feel like given the time period where we are, I think like the reintroduction of Maul in in Solo, um, and the sort of unfinished business aspect of that. Um, however, the thing that I think would be super interesting about Vader would be the idea of you know, Obi-Wan having to actually reckon with, you know, if he, if, if he, if he made a trip to, to Mustafar in the series, or if somehow, you know, Mm -hmm. he, he found out 
you know, what Anakin's life had become after he cut off his legs and hand and left him to burn. Um, like if he, you know, mm-hmm. to, to deal with like your yeah, apprentice, his, his best own. friend becoming a robot, like that's, that's gotta be a, that's gotta be I a, mean, a, a, I think a mind F. It, it's gotta be Disney's ace in the, ace in the sleeve to, <laughs> to hold. Is that a phrase? <laughs> ace in the hole. Ace in the hole. It's gotta um, be their sabak up the sleeve. It's gotta be their sabak up the sleeve. <laughs> their falcon winning deck that uh the vader series i mean there i think there's going to be an inevitable vader series after well, we i don't know play that test. You i don't think? know that you can do I, many I, episodes without james earl jones voicing it would be well, really I, <laughs> that's I for just sure wonder. well it's canceled i mean you're already. going on the assumption <laughs> that he's closer to the end than the beginning so <laughs> but we don't know i that. i I think I think that that having a Vader series is probably would be like the ultimate for Disney Plus. Um, and if Solo can tease that out a little bit, if there is that kind of that that near reckoning or that that glimpse of Vader, because one of the biggest parts of Rogue One was also kind of bringing Vader back in that in that capacity. Everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, we saw him in action." That was almost like a little mini just screen test of like. Would people want to see what Vader did during that time? If we if we're interested in what Obi, eventually we're going to run out of these legacy storylines and <laughs> fill in all the gaps. Um, for better, uh, yeah, or for in worse. what in like in like twenty one thirty. Yeah, exactly. Like that, I'm saying down the road, but it would be neat to see Vader during this time as I'd well. I'd like, like to see a Vader show where they follow basically the Rogue One, like the the formula of every show is the same, which is we follow kind of bumbling imperial uh you know who's who you know generals and and henchmen and stuff who mm-hmm. fail and then in the last five minutes vader comes in and has to just take out a Clean hallway of, re- of rebels <laughs> and that's every single episode we don't see him until then it's just people bumbling and messing up <laughs> and they call it the cleanup crew <laughs> the name's vader i'm kind of a fixer of sorts <laughs> And he, is, he narrates the whole series. That's right. <laughs> Kira like Sedgwick it. is the Vader. I like it. So, <laughs> well, we have to we have to go back though to USA's the Vader. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a summer series on USA. It'll be on right after Royal Pains, but before Burn Notice in 2007, and it, it, we'll all love it. The Bruce Campbell is Darth Vader. <laughs> I, I, we have it's to... a rebellion out there. <laughs> it's sort of and confusion everywhere. <laughs> Don't sing anymore. We'll get sued. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to remember the original intent of why Obi-Wan is on Tatooine and the end of Revenge of the Sith. I don't think mm-hmm. he can go anywhere. I think, no, I think right. we, this, he literally has to be having a yep. either very contained adventure on Tatooine that he's like, well, I still got mm-hmm. my eyes on Luke, and I know if Luke's in trouble, um, but I don't have to be. The show doesn't have to be about him protecting Luke because yeah. that may not be the most exciting thing to watch. But he's he's probably got to stay on Tatooine the whole time. Well, it, well it, 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 it would be cool. I think it would be cool to see kind of Luke, and I mean this in a non as non-jokingly as possible, like Luke almost Mr. Magoo the situation where he's kind of like, in lots of danger, but Obi Wan is basically behind the scenes, making sure that Luke is not in danger. <laughs> It'll be like that Tiny Toons thing with the little girl and the dog. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's he's crawling around like on like beams while they're building buildings, <laughs> and domes, and Obi Wan's like, oh boy, I gotta lose. he's slipping on or stuff. They'll, or they'll treat it like uh, I mean, I don't watch this show, but based on the ads I've seen, they'll treat it like Gotham, where they're like. Today, Bruce Wayne is a four-year-old is going to be on Gotham, and it's going to be like we'll finally see Luke in a little tunic. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there there is something like an interesting idea to how whether it's protecting Luke or whether it's you know a, a, an original sort of side storyline adventure that he's which which I think is very likely for the series. Mm-hmm. But the idea that given the time frame we're in, given given Order sixty six, you know the sort of he has to resist using mm-hmm. his Jedi abilities. Maybe he has to resist using the lightsaber or he has to do so discreetly. There's a lot of, there would be a lot of risk revealing mm-hmm. oneself as a Jedi. Yes. You know, on Tatooine eight years after the end You're of right. episode three. Yeah. So there's kind of this it's interesting, good... like the idea of the reluctant hero, you know, mm-hmm. is, is it comes yeah. to mind. That would be exciting. It's, and... <laughs> it's perfect for a Western. 
Uh, it's perfect uh, for a western. It's perfect for a kid crawling across beams. <laughs> and I have I been think... waiting so long to see them finally do a Star Wars that's <laughs> reminiscent of a western. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I mean, I think also this might be the series. I I know it seems like Disney's trying to kind of cool it with the Force, quote unquote. I think that um, that's a quote by me. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I think that uh, I think Disney is tr- the Force is such kind of sacred ground for Star Wars fans. It would be neat to see a little more after a little bit of break from it to kind of go into like at that time period. Presumably, Obi Wan is learning new Force skills. Like how to talk to the other Force world and all that stuff. So, I would be interested in learning a little bit of uh, just kind of his meditation schedule, um, what he's doing exactly. <laughs> I'm uh, thinking but- maybe he's going around. Maybe he's dealing with the emotional fallout of his apprentice. You know, uh, yeah, that, turning. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. And, and he's yeah. trying to find out. Uh, you might not want to sign on too quick. He's uh, trying to find <laughs> out if. Uh, you know, understand why someone would do that emotionally. So he's repeating the steps. He's going out. He's buying black ropes. He's killing young ones. He's trying to see if he feels <laughs> oh, something. Oh, no, right. He's trying to see if he feels oh, something that, that oh, no. you know. I shouldn't have walked into that. He's dipping, that. His, oh, he's boy, dipping yeah. his legs in boiling hot water. Is this what lava oh, feels like? Is this what I did? Honestly, I think I know what it is. They're going to go to old Jawa lockers, and he's going to be, it's going to be like storage wars. <laughs> <laughs> and there's gonna be a, a cast of three or four different characters and obi-wan if the last gonna... episode of the of the series isn't him putting a like tiny explosive device in that r5 unit that they try to buy <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the final second it's a very good question is he gonna remember r2 at that point because yeah. i don't seem to ever remember owning a droid <laughs> I'm not sure I could deal with a movie uh, with a show where we're slowly watching him fall into senility. Yeah, I was gonna oh, say no. he he must hit his head. Or he, something I was gonna say he bangs his head on one of the rocks. Like, oh, you think into... there's just you guys think there's just a really good bonk in the bonk? In oh there? yeah, one of one of those from sand, one of those gonk sand, droids. One of those sand <laughs> gonk droid. Falls I got bonked by a gonk. <laughs> a gonk droid falls on his head. It goes gonk. <laughs> <laughs> it was all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I, the thing that I would love is if this series he just works in the Death Star. <laughs> this series is like Luke on Octo. It's kind of him honestly exploring mm-hmm. aging yeah. and mistakes, and like let's just go even further into the mind of someone who has yeah. to respond to what could be their own responsibility in what has happened in the galaxy. And I, I don't think we're gonna get that, but it would be amazing that if that Ryan Johnson style was brought to this series mm-hmm. and I explored it that like, way. I want to see like the Alfonso Cuaron or like oh. the oh, yeah, Rodrigo like, Garcia, the Gus right, Van right. Sant version, where it's yeah, just, just a dude say, in the yeah. desert flowing robes. That's right? all we see. Oh, that sounds yeah. great. Who who made the New World? Uh, Terrence Malick. Oh, Terrence. my God. I want to see the yeah, Terrence, Terrence Malick, Malick version. Would be amazing <laughs> I think, for you this. know what? I think they got a good chance of getting them. <laughs> they honestly. <laughs> hey, if you got uh, Werner Herzog, you got a shot. Yeah. I just can't wait till Obi Wan goes to register on the planet, and then the Imperial Guards are like, "What? You've been here for a long time. <laughs> Your name's Ben." <laughs> I would have preferred. I would have so preferred long. to hear you do that for Kenobi and how you come up with <laughs> yeah. Kenobi. <laughs> Ken Obsidian? Huh? <laughs> Ken, hand me that Obsidian. <laughs> <laughs> his Kenny. name was already Obi. Kenobi, though. Famously, the intake process <laughs> needs As igneous the... rocks. <laughs> He's an old rock miner. Well, I don't think we oh, have a man. whole lot more to talk about for the well, Obi Wan series. They didn't give us much. There's this not does really see, a lot this, there. This does continue you and McGregor. Blah, 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 you and McGregor's <laughs> relationship with Disney. He did Christopher Robin. Anybody watch that movie? It's was great. It good, Is it? Was it a financial oh, success? I don't know if it was a financial success. I watched it on Netflix, and it's emotionally oh. devastating. I know it oh, looked. Wow. It looked. It looked devastating to see like an old tired poo going. Hello. Can I can I tell you guys a moment from this movie? I know this has yeah. nothing to do with anything, but just yeah. since we're here, there's yeah. a moment. So Christopher Robin grows up, and then Pooh finds his way from the uh, the uh, Hundred Acre Woods to Christopher Robin's house. And Christopher Robin sees him, and he's surprised, but he's kind of like happy to see him. And mm-hmm. he says, "Pooh, that uh, it's so weird to see you. I haven't thought about you guys in in years." <laughs> oh, no. And Pooh looks at him, 
like free of like any emotion and just goes that's funny we think about you every day Oh oh and, that's you, and I was watching this movie on a Sunday morning thinking, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> and that's that's my relationship with Obi Wan. <laughs> I haven't you thought about that though. name in a long, long <laughs> time. I don't think about you at all. I, I think I think the series is gonna be Obi Wan packs up a speeder bike with his buddy Charlie Wan. <laughs> And Obi Wan and Charlie Wan just just ride around the planet. They go around Tatooine. <laughs> this desert, it's the, fantastic. The desert that just stretches out in front of you for miles. <laughs> they end up staying at someone's house where he has a ton of blasters and he's singing <laughs> yeah, songs. Yes. Oh, we've got to get out of here. If uh, this, if our listeners have not watched, <laughs> if if our listeners have wa- not watched the Long Way Down or the Long Way Round, uh, which we're referencing. There. It's, I mean, just prime prime Ewan. You're going to love they're, it. They're phenomenal. And if there you, truly you, is an episode where they end up in a house where a guy has a ton of guns <laughs> and is singing yeah, they, the yeah, I forget I which they're country in they're in. <laughs> yeah, I forget where they're at. But the, yeah, they, the, the owner, they're like just doing a homestay at somebody's house. It's pretty wild. It, it does show you how endearing a, a, an actor and a character Ewan McGregor is. And I think it, it just adds to kind of this ruggedness that is Obi-Wan. If the there's rugged. anything Man. that we learned from the D23 uh, conference this past weekend, it's that any series is on the table for D for, for Disney Plus, which means so we got to write we our could bring crumb scripts. Well, yeah. no, I'm I'm actually saying they could just do another version of the Long Way Round. They could just do yeah, another yeah, season because right. they've oh got Jeff Goldblum doing his. And, I just Jeff Goldblum going around trying and things. They also they also do National Geographic. So, so wow, very there's fitting. some synergy this there. Is, well, I would love happening. to see Ewan McGregor and Jeff Goldblum on a safari. <laughs> <laughs> mm, what is this? This is oh, you got the motorcycle. Hey, Sam, ooh, once again, we're just throttle. feeding all these great ideas to Disney and their marketing team. Wow. And, you know the program. All they team. have to do is listen to this podcast and not sue us and take the idea. <laughs> 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 One last thing we do have to talk about, and we don't have to get into it very much because we didn't get a lot of news. But Cassie and Andor, that series going into production. Uh, I believe early next year with it coming out at the end of next year is the plan. Alan Tudyk is back as K2SO. Otherwise, I don't think we learned much more other than Diego Luna is very excited to be joining um, a series and hoping to have a chance to touch Jabba the Hutt. That's really his whole reason. (laughs) For being Diego there. Luna was soaking in all the attention because he knew that the <laughs> Obi Wan announcement was coming. <laughs> yeah, he's like, "I get this while it's fresh." No, I, but that's I, really cool. He was one of the most engaging parts of that movie. Diego mm-hmm. Luna's awesome. Alan yeah. Tudyk, awesome. I, I think this is. I think this will be like a sleeper hit. You know, like yeah. we're all like, "Oh I yeah, agree. the Cassie and Andor series is coming," and then it's like kind of great. Because yeah. it'll be a spy series. It'll well, be. That's yeah, I, I think it, it's it's going to be kind of mission based, is my guess. Yeah, I was going to say just like they. This is the opportunity to really lean into, you know, if if Rogue One was the was the, you know, team on a mission movie, you know, the the impossible odds movie, um, you know, this is the as as background to that, you know, this is an opportunity to show like what what is a rebel spy's life actually like? Mm-hmm. We've seen what rebel pilots, what Jedi, what rebel warriors do, but like this is a chance to, you know, spend spend time uh you know, among the among the outlaws, among the unsavory characters, maybe even more spend more time with with imperial, you know, friendlies to the empire, you know, and uh, and and really go behind enemy lines. So yeah, I'm I'm excited. I think it's going to be great. Well, we've seen the mapped out version of what's to come, what's been in Star Wars. Before we wrap up this pod, I want to go around the horn. We got the Age of Republic, Age of Rebellion. Age of Resistance. We know there's a trilogy coming up from Benioff and Weiss that they're starting. We know there's the Ryan Johnson trilogy. What's our next age? Oh. Hmm. Are we going back? Are we going forward? Well, it depends. I feel, yeah, the, the answer is... Age of Skywalker. De- there it is. Oh. That's what I thought, too, Chris. <laughs> Let me jump on that bandwagon. All right. Yeah, can't, <laughs> can't top it. Good. Can't top it. Well, an age, age of... of broom kid. <laughs> Age of broom kid. On that fateful day, he pulled that broom towards him. But we've talked about the Old Republic being a possible series, so maybe it's the mm-hmm. Age of the Old Republic is the we go back. So we have the Age of right. Skywalker, we have the Age of the Old Republic. The Age of the New Old Republic. The Age of the New New Republic. The Vintage <laughs> Republic. 
<laughs> the Vintage Republic. And then you have Republic Wars, which they go from storage unit to storage <laughs> unit in the Republic with Obi-Wan. Yep. Yup. Well, yep. that is going to do it for this edition of the pod. What a pleasure to have three episodes this week to talk about all the news from D23. November 12th, we're counting it down. Then we've got, of course, December 20th, The Rise of Skywalker. Next year, we've got Clone Wars, followed by Cassian Andor series. Who knows what else? And on the horizon, of course, the Obi-Wan series and so much more. Mandalorian on its way. we got season two up at some point as well. Oh, it's a great time to be a Star Wars fan. Sure is. It is. <laughs> Amen. That'll do it for the droids you're looking for, a Star Wars podcast. What they Annie? Kenobi! I don't know that name. That, that, that business, that business doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs>